This guide shows you how to securely erase individual files on your PC or the whole of your recycle bin. So all you need to do is download a certain program, it's called Eraser. So you can do this in any browser with the exception of Internet Explorer. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And once your browser's open, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, left click once in there and delete out whatever's in it. And then you need to type sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash eraser. So that's sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash eraser, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then you'll get this page appear. Now it may say we value your privacy. So you can either accept or reject the, uh, the, the, the options here. So I'm just gonna accept them. Okay, and then move your mouse over the download button just here and left click once. And hopefully, as it says there, the download will start shortly. But if it doesn't for any reason, just click on the problems downloading and follow the instructions on the screen. As you can see in the bottom left hand of the corner of the screen, mine's downloading. And there you go, it's now downloaded. Now you can find this file usually in your downloads folder. So you could either click on it down here if you're doing it in Chrome or come out of it and go into the yellow folder just down the bottom of the screen here, go to downloads and find the file that says eraser in there. Now the number after eraser may differ from mine depending on when you've downloaded it because uh, that's the version number and they may have changed the version since recording this video. So double left click on that. You'll get this, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says a Razer Setup Bootstrapper and the verified publisher matches this, then click yes. It's now extracting the setup files and it now says, welcome to the Eraser setup wizard. The setup wizard will install Eraser on your computer. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup wizard. So move your mouse over next, left click once, and then you need to put a little tick in the box there to say, I accept the terms in the license agreement, which you can read by scrolling up or down there. So let's just put a tick in there. Move your mouse over next, left click once, and then it's you can just click the well, typical just up here. So that's probably the best thing to do. Click typical, and then move your mouse down to install, and click install. And there you go, it's now installing. So now it's installed, we can click finish there. If you've still got the downloads window open, then you can erase this or remove this eraser file here. It's only the installation file, so uh, let's just uh, click once on it and then press the delete key on the keyboard and it says, are you sure you want to remove this file to the recycle bin? Yes, we're okay to remove it to the recycle bin because we've finished with it now. It's been installed on the computer. We don't need to keep it any longer. So left click once on yes. And there you go, it's gone. And we can close down the downloads window there just by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now it's uh, installed, we can open it up to check out the settings if we want just by double clicking on the eraser icon on the screen. And it now says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Left click once on yes. And if we know what we're doing, we can uh, change any of the settings in and around here. But what we need to make sure is, we need to make sure there's a tick in this box just here next to integrate eraser into Windows Explorer. So as long as there's a tick there, we're fine. We can click on the cross in the top right hand corner there just to uh, get rid of that box. So we can find our file that we need to erase securely. So I've just opened up, there you go, the pictures folder. And I wanna erase this file here. So all I do is I just right click on it and then I get this sub menu come up here find a razor in the sub menu and there you go there's a raise just here so left click a raise okay and it comes up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device well as long as it says a razor there move your mouse over yes left click once and it says there are you sure you wish to erase the selected items yes or no or we've got options here we can click on options so we can run it immediately run it on restart make it a reoccurring erase but for the moment, we're okay just saying run it immediately. So move your mouse over, yes, left click once. And there you go, took a few seconds, but uh, 
it's now been erased. And we've got, got a couple of um, messages come up there to say the task has been completed. So uh, let's close down these windows here. And I'm just gonna show you how you can erase the recycle bin as well. So, okay, so move your mouse over the recycle bin. Now, normally you'd left click on it to open it up. I want you to right click on it. And then again, you get this little menu up here. Move your mouse down to eraser and then move your mouse across to erase, left click once and click on yes on this message here. And then again, are you sure you wish to erase the selected items? Move your mouse over yes, left click once. And there we go, it says new task added, recycle bin has just been added to the list of tasks. Give it a little while, it may take uh, a minute or so depending on how many files you've got in your recycle bin but we should get a message in a moment just confirming that the erase has been completed or the task has been completed as they call it. And there we go, it says task completed. So that took a couple of minutes. I did pause the video for quickness, but now it's securely erased. So there you go. That guide showed you how to securely erase individual files and the contents of your recycle bin so that nobody can recover those files. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to leave Eraser on your computer in case you want to erase files securely in the future. But if you don't, then, and you want to get rid of it, then click on the start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, type appwiz.cpl, so that's appwiz.cpl, and then after a while, it should come up under best match appwiz.cpl, left click once on that. The programs and features menu should appear. Find a razor in this list, left click once, left click uninstall, and then it says, are you sure you want to uninstall a razor? Left click yes, okay. And then left click yes on this screen here. And it says here, um, the following applications should be closed before continuing, a razor.exe, so I'm gonna select automatically close the applications and attempt to restart them after setup is complete. So move your mouse over, okay, left click once, and it says setup was unable to automatically close all the re requested applications. Please install the applications holding files in use are closed before continuing the installation. So I'm just gonna close down any windows that I've got open. So let's just close down this window here, click on okay, and there you go, it's now been removed. So I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.